If you recently installed MySQL database on your computer and looking for how to manage users on MySQL 8 database, then this tutorial is for you. Hi, my name is Pradnyang Kurnikam. I am a freelance web developer and Udemy instructor. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to create, rename, alter and drop users in MySQL 8 database. We will learn every SQL statement practically. So let's get started. Here on my Windows 10 operating system, I have logged in to my MySQL 8 database server using root user account. Though I am using Windows 10 operating system, the examples given in this video tutorial will work on any operating system with MySQL 8 database. If I use show databases command like show databases semicolon press enter, you can see a list of databases on my MySQL server. In previous installation tutorial, we created this PN tutorials database, while these other databases are MySQL system databases. When we create users, MySQL stores the user information inside this MySQL database under user table. Let's first select MySQL table using use MySQL semicolon press enter. Now let's display list of tables under MySQL database. We can display the tables using show tables semicolon press enter. The MySQL database contains various tables but currently we are only interested in this user table. As I said before, this user table stores user information. Let's display all records from user table using MySQL statement. Select star from user semicolon press enter. As the user table contains many columns, the output is little difficult to read. We can change the user table view using select star from user and instead of semicolon use backslash g press enter and this time the table columns are displayed in rows. Instead of showing multiple columns, let's display only a couple of columns like host and user columns. The MySQL command would be select user comma host from user semicolon press enter and this time we can see there are four users and their host names. Now let's create new database users. The MySQL command to create a new user is create user in single quote name of the user. I will write Ankur which is short form of my name single quote complete add symbol again in single quote name of the host I will use local host single quote complete then to set password type identified by and inside single quote enter a password that will be required to log in to this user account. I will use pass 1234 single quote complete semicolon to end the statement. Please note in my case I am using pass 1234 for demonstration purpose only. This password isn't really a strong password and it is easily guessable. So if you are on production machine 
I would suggest you to use a strong password like a combination of alphanumeric string and some special characters. I will press enter. And if you see this query OK message, then our new user has been created successfully. Let's confirm it using previously executed statement. I will press up arrow key to show previously executed statements. Select this select statement and press enter. And sure enough, we can see the newly added user. I will add another user using create user in single quote pn tutorials single quote complete identified by in single quotes the password again pass 1234 single quote complete semicolon to end the statement if you notice this time I didn't enter host name press enter and another user named pn tutorials successfully created let's confirm using previous select statement and we can see pn tutorials here please note since while creating the user we didn't enter host name so by default it stores the host name as percent percent means you can log in into database from any host connected to this database and for local host we can access database only from local host now let's display user table with other columns i will enter select star from user backslash g press enter here for our newly added user you can see these privileges column values are set to no n or no it means we don't have these privileges remember we only added new user but didn't set the privileges so this is the reason all values are set to no at this moment let's log in to newly added user account I will log out of my root user account using exit and this time I would enter mysql command to connect to newly added user account and in my case I will use username Ankur. Please note in my case I have two mysql installation one is on port number 3306 and another on port number 3307. I have mysql 8 installed on port number 3307 that's the reason I have included this port number 3307 here to connect to mysql 8 instance. In your case if there is only one installation you don't need to enter this port number. Press enter. Enter the password we set while creating new user. In my case it's pass1234. Press enter and we are logged in to newly added user account we can confirm if we are logged in to a specific user account by using select user parenthesis semicolon to terminate the SQL statement press enter and we can confirm that we are logged in to ankur user account we created the user but haven't set any privileges so by default a role of none is assigned to newly added user and we don't have any privilege or access to database. Let's confirm it. If I enter show databases semicolon press enter. Since we don't have permissions we can't see other databases. If we try use mysql semicolon press enter we can't select a database and we see this access denied for user ankur at localhost to database mysql error message 
Now let's log out of this user account and log in back to root user account to set privileges for this account. I will enter exit. And this time instead of Ankur, I will log in back to root user account. Press enter, enter root user account password. Now we are logged in to root user account. Let's grant user Ankur privileges. To assign privileges or roles, use the grant statement. We will learn more about grant statement and permissions in a separate tutorial. For now use the following grant statement as it is. Grant all on star dot star to in single quotes Ankur single quote complete at in single quotes localhost in this mysql statement this star dot star means we are giving permission to all databases and all tables to this username press enter display all users list using select star from user backslash g press enter all right we need to select the database first i will select use mysql and once again execute the statement select star from user backslash g and this time we can confirm that all privileges are given to username ankur In order to tell the server to reload the grant tables, perform a flush privileges operation. This can be done by issuing a flush privileges command. Enter flush privileges semicolon. Now I will log out of root user account. Exit and log in to Ankur username account. Press enter, enter the password for Ankur username. And now if we enter show databases, we have access to all databases. Once again, I will log out of this user account. and login back to root user account. Enter root user password. All right, now let's learn how we can rename this user. First of all, I will select MySQL table, use MySQL. I will once again display the user list using select user comma host from user semicolon press enter once you add a user it is possible to change the name of the user or host name of the user let me show you how here i will change the username from my short name ankur to pradnyankur and the command to change the username is rename user in single quotes ankur at localhost to new name which would be this time pradnyankur at localhost semicolon to terminate the SQL statement press enter and if i display user list again we can confirm that the name of the user has been changed now let's change it back to ankur and the statement would be rename user 
प्रज्ञांकुर एट लोकल होस्ट टू द न्यू नेम अंकुर इफ यू नोटिस दिस टाइम आई डिडेंट एड होस्ट नेम फॉर द न्यू यूजर नेम इफ वी डोंट मैंशन होस्ट नेम इट डिफॉल्ट टू परसेंट प्रेसेंटर वी कैन कन्फर्म दैट बाई डिस्प्लेइंग द यूजर लिस्ट वंस अगेन and sure enough the name as well as this time the host name has been updated to percent in database now let's learn how to use alter command using alter statement we can change password authentication plugin password expire time lock or unlock an account here we will take a simple example to change user account password this is most common and frequently asked question so pay all your attention to this command the command to change user account password is really simple the command is alter user in single quotes name of the user in my case ankur at in single quote this time percent identified by in single quotes new password this time i will set the password to pass 5678 single quote complete semicolon to terminate the sql statement press enter let's confirm if the password has been updated i will exit out of root user account enter exit and login to username ankur press enter and this time i would use my new password which is pass 5678 press enter and i am able to login to ankur user account with new password i will log out of the user account and once again log in to root user account enter root user account password and we are logged in back to root user account finally let's learn how we can remove or delete an existing user from mysql database first of all i will select mysql database and display user list by using previously executed select command press enter and we can see currently we have six users let's delete username ankur the mysql command would be drop user in single quotes ankur at percent single quote complete semicolon to terminate the sql statement please note the drop user statement removes one or more mysql accounts and their privileges and once a user and its privileges are removed you can't recover them back so be careful before executing drop user statement i will press enter and confirm if the user is removed using select statement and sure enough the user has been successfully removed in this tutorial we learn create rename alter and drop statements to manage database users now it's your time try these examples on your computer and let me know if it works in this tutorial we learn how to manage users in mysql 8 database i hope the examples in this tutorial were easy to understand and follow If you have any doubts or encounter errors or didn't understand something you can ask me questions in the comment section of this video hit the like button if this tutorial was helpful to you and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel thanks for watching see you in the next video